What's your style? Hi, I'm Christoph Klugston. I've been doing combat science for a long time. Started out actually in Taekwondo and went on through a, Kung, a, a Southern Kung Fu style and then on and on Judo and Tang Soo Do, Pu Kang Tang Soo Do, Shotokan. But my real beginnings when I really started to flourish is when I was learning combat Jeet Kune Do or JKD, which is very different than what you see other people doing in JKD. Which, was, which is pretty pattern driven and stuff like that. Well, the guy taught me, Mike Sandlin, in St. Louis, United States, was a street fighter and he fought about 300 times. So his method, instruction was way different. And from there, then I became a professional fighter. And so I went into uh, boxing and kickboxing, a professional boxer, professional kickboxer, K1 Muay Thai shoot boxing. I've held some titles and I've had a lot of fights, 75 fights on three continents, so I know about sport fighting. But I'm pretty much, I, I do train people in sport fighting, but I'm more of a realistic, the real fighting. So I've been a military trainer, which is what I really like to do, training different groups of the military in different countries, most recently in the Philippines with the recon marines. Uh, a lot of people try to apply sport fighting to real fighting and it doesn't work, or they try to put traditional martial arts that doesn't work, or they try to do a certain set of patterns because it looks good when they're practicing to do all these different moves and uh, it doesn't work. There's specific scenario training that will help with that because you have to, emotionally, people have to be brought up. You do not become a great fighter by being in a dojo or a gym and then suddenly you're ready for the street. <laughs> that doesn't happen like that. Nobody does that. You have to emotionally be pressurized under stress, which is what the military does a lot of. That's one of the things, the key, key training feature of that. So you have to, in my mind, you have to keep all that in consideration and you have to think about what is important to you. Do you want to do a sport? Okay, do a sport. But if you want to do something that's going to protect yourself and you have to think about the reality of what goes on. I'm reacting to him. I'm not trying to put a pattern on him. I, you have to be trained to react. I go towards the things that work. So I'm not a style, I'm a system. A, a system has underlying precepts and concepts that are used throughout. So there's different things that I do that you'll see in everything. There's a physics that underlies all sorts of fighting figured all those things out years ago and it's what kind of propelled me ahead in the self-defense industry back in the 90s. That's why I became the big name for a, a certain company in the United States and California and then uh, led to Black Belt magazine interviews and other Karate International, other big magazines. Worldwide, the biggest weapon to kill people with are blades. More people die from from stabbing, slashing, from anything else. Stabs are more deadly than slashes. And then if you get into being hit, in the United States, a uh, stick, it's the baseball bat. More people are killed with baseball bats than any other weapon. So you need to learn how to deal with those things. If you're not incorporating that, if you're only sport fighting and you're doing long involved grappling moves that leave you exposed to someone else or that put you on the ground where a mob can uh, just literally stomp you to death, you have to rethink your training because you're training for real combat science. That's why I say martial arts, real martial arts now has to incorporate sticks and knives. In my systems approach, everything that I do intersects with the other things is what I'm saying. So that you have apps and you have systems and then there's mega systems when you've been training for a few years you can combine some systems and it's a synergistic effect like a one plus one equals three. Imagine having Linux, uh, DOS uh, and Apple systems working together and then they're, be they're better than the single one by itself. So that's kind of a way to explain it. It's more on my website on fluidfighting.com. You can find more information about that and the blogs talk about these things. I'm just trying to touch on a little bit of this. To me, combat science, martial arts is about survival first. Sport fighting is great. There's a lot to learn from it, but too many people get caught up into that is what they do. I know it's easy to get become a fanboy <laughs> of different sport fighting. Don't get caught up in thinking that the sport applies to reality because reality existed before the sport. Sport did not happen before the reality. Mm -hmm.